What up, ladies and gentlemen? On this edition of Need Nothing Filtered, we have a number six pick in the NBA draft, the 2000 NBA draft. Close friend of mine, DMV legend, Cincinnati Bearcat, ladies and gentlemen, DeMar Johnson. Also, we got Mark Gray, businessman, all around smart ass, funny guy, and a close friend of me and DJ. So, what up, fellas? What's, What's good, up? Kenny? Appreciate you having me, my brother. Yeah, man, same here. Appreciate you having me on. Appreciate you, gentlemen, man. Yeah, man, a little, a lot going on around, man, in the, in the sports world and in the everyday living world. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into a few things, man. Um, I'm pretty sure you gentlemen saw the, um, the Cam Newton incident with the kid at his camp. Yeah. So we're gonna have, so this is the first week of, of this segment that I'm gonna do. It's called, what would Kenyon do? You know, <laughs> instead of what would Jesus do? Right, it's right, what right. Would, it's what would Kenyon do? Yeah. Right, right, so right. So we'll get to what I would do. WWKD. WWKD is what would Kenyon do? <laughs> so, It's funny how Cam responded to him, you know what I'm saying? Like laughingly, but asking what the dude parents was, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was like, he was trying to like, like, where's your dad? Like, like, where, like that's, that's the proper response. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to argue with a kid. Like I'm not finna go back and forth with a kid. You being disrespectful right now for one, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So where's your parents? So I get that part of it. I'm saying, how would y'all would have handled it? Or what did you <laughs> think of? How would you would handle it, and how do you? What do you think about how Cam handled it, DJ? I thought I thought Cam handled it well. I mean, at first, his first response was saying that I'm rich, which which is true. You know what I'm saying? You let the kid know who you talking to, yeah. but asking for his parents and all that, and, and addressing him, I thought I thought he handled it pretty well. He got his he got his thoughts together, and then well, let me let me calm down. I'm talking to a kid and just try to like help it and, and school the kid. Yeah. Myself, I kind of would have been Cam, letting him know that I'm a national champion, a Heisman winner, a number one pick, yeah. an yeah. NFL MVP. I took a team to the Super Bowl. How could you you wouldn't how could you even talk to me this way when you yeah. done nothing? You're a kid. Yeah. Like I'm a part of a very, very small percentage. Less than one percent. There's nothing you can possibly say to me. Yeah, you would hope in your wildest dream to be where I am right now. You would hope in your wildest dream to be the third quarterback on any team I've ever played for. Yeah. Like true to be, facts. Yeah, definitely. To be on the roster. You got a you got a better chance of hitting the lottery three times. Yeah. MG, what you think? <laughs> well, you guys both know me. I'm, I'm I'm a little bit uh when they go low, I go lower type of dude myself. And um, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. At first, when he went with like, it's funny how I keep people, hearing people say, um, "Oh, he's a Heisman Trophy winner." Heisman, he- forget Heisman Trophy winner. That dude is a NFL League MVP. Yeah. Forget forget Heisman. This dude's won Heisman Trophy. Never even played that. Dude is a NFL League MVP. Yeah. It, that is the highest honor you can get at his position. You, you know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? And the dude said, you're a free agent. I would have told him, ain't nothing free about me, champ. The only yeah. thing free about me is that I paid for you to be at this camp. Yeah. That's just to put some respect on it. Like, don't do not do that. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, league, league MVP. Like, I want you to think about that. You know what I mean? And, and again, when it's funny when he said, where's your, where's your dad? The first yeah. thing I'm thinking in my head is, I think he's saying, where's your dad? Like, let me talk to him. I'm thinking like you don't even know your dad. That's what I'm thinking. He going with yeah. That, oh, that too. That would probably yeah. That would have been that, the same thing. That, that, that probably would have been some shit that came out of my mouth. Right, and and, and Ken, you, you know, know how man? you know you know we're pretty similar when it comes to that type of stuff. So that's yeah. what I'm thinking. He going at it with like you don't even know your dad. Like who are you? Whatever. I mean, again, to me it was just sad. I mean, Cam handled it well. I will say that. Yeah. And um, Cam handled it better than I would have. I say that. Yeah, definitely handled it better than I would have. So, what would Kenyon do? <laughs> you put me in that situation like you putting yourself in a grown man situation, little kid. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, and if I slap the shit at you right now, <laughs> then I'm going to get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So I suggest you watch your motherfucking mouth. Like, that's what I'm going to tell him. Yeah. And then where is your parents at? Because you're hearing this shit from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you ain't coming up with this on your own. <laughs> you no, know what I'm saying? He looked at this year. Yeah, it camp didn't play that well. Okay, I get it, but yeah, see, I was, you know, I used to have camps in like free camps in Dallas and shit too for kids. I know it was in that situation, but kids being disrespectful to other people and doing things, you know, I just send them home. I'm saying, yeah, I mean, yeah. be, I'm saying you're not going to be here being disrespectful and, and doing this kind of shit when you're not paying to be here for one. And I'm doing this shit out of kindness of my heart. Like, and you be, you're around here being disrespectful. You know what? You can get your bag and however you got here, you need to find your way back right now. I'm saying, because I'm not going to put up with you being disrespectful. It, it, it just goes to show like the difference in our generations, right? So I, I've talked to each one of you the same. We're all in the same boat. Like I never even met an NBA NFL player a day in my life as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you did, you, you told me to come back to your high school list, the, the third string quarterback who once, you know, took a practice squad rep and he comes here camp and guess what everybody is all is all respectful yeah. oh my god that guy seen the nfl oh that guy played da 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 here you are a league mvp coming back taking time out and like i said i'm sure cam came out of his pocket to do that and these kids just are so entitled and so you know just the, the barriers between adults and and, and, and greats is, yeah. is is so thin now you just come out your mouth that he thought cam was just a regular one of his friends basically yeah, being disrespectful, you know what I'm just saying? Don't, I'm, like, like I'm, I'm not your peer. Bingo. You know what I'm so, like, I agree with you on that. But and, and also with Kenya was saying he ain't just getting it from nowhere. When you got, you know, all these shows now that gotta critique these guys every day. Yeah. Social and, media. Yeah, social media, TV, you hearing everybody saying, Oh, this guy, this guy sucks. This guy sucks. This guy can't do this. This guy can't do that. You got to hear this stuff yeah. every day. It wasn't. Yeah, he washed. Yeah. And, 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 and that's fine. But I mean, you know, you may think so and so can't sing. Are you not a fan of Prince? That doesn't mean when you come across, you're like, your music's trash. Like, that, that's, <laughs> that's not. <how> you, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I yeah. And then it's like, like, it's just like I was just saying, like, especially when you, when you hear on, on my dime. Right. Like, I'm, I paid for this. I put this together. This is my camp. Yeah. And I'm trying to no, do I, something you, you for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You see, he came yeah. out of the John. Yeah, yeah, like. On his dime, if you a kid in the street, you in high school and you play football and you see Cam and, and you think you can just tell him he suck. I don't care. Yes. You ass. Crazy. Uh, so you ass, man. You ass. Like, nigga, who you, little boy, who the fuck you think you talking to? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I've been in the situation, like, yeah, like we had one of the KJ games. Look, kid being disrespectful in the stands at the polls in school. And yeah. I told him, sure, listen, look, hey, little boy, I'm a grown ass man, dog. Like, you don't, like, don't play with me. So, and then where your parent, did you tell my son you'll slap shit out of him? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Because he being disrespectful. Like, you lucky you a woman. Like, like you need to like these kids like they need to learn man like like it's just a generation man social media like got these kids mind warped but they got the cam the way he handled that shit though yeah definitely no nah, yeah no nah, that's oh you yeah. know how many people on this planet have won an nfl mvp 57 yeah <laughs> 57 <laughs> you know what i'm saying like slightly more than people that like you damn near got a better chance of walking on the moon than you do yeah. an NFL MVP. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just yeah. think about that. Yeah. On this planet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, come on, yeah. man. Yeah. And, and some kid that he, I mean, and when Cam asked, I don't know if you saw all the clip. He was like, "What'd you do today?" He said, like, "Oh, we, we went one and two. He's like, "What did you do?" Uh, yeah. Uh, he had no answer for. I'm fast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Yeah, um, I want to say congratulations to Prime Time, man. Oh, old, old Coach Prime on his first W, man. They went out there and took care of business, and they it beat the brakes off them boys. Yeah. Um, and then with every sweet situation comes a sour. 
come in and somebody then lifted the man's items. Um, yeah, man, that's just foul, man, on so many levels. Like, like to steal something from somebody like, is so I no reason, though. He got his stuff back. Did they find out who did it? Yeah, they said they found oh, out who no, did it. They said his assistant. It, something's missing from the story because they said his assistant walked in and seen who did it. But but she's and, a but female. The like to, a, the she's a female. Say, yeah, but the school like is trying so. to say like, oh no, it wasn't a robbery. Somebody was moving it. Huh? But why would somebody move something that don't belong to you? You don't know what's in it. Like, <laughs> like you don't know it's a man bag. It's, the items were put up. Like, like you don't know what's in it. So why would you touch somebody's stuff? Like you know, that's that that that's a bogus excuse. <laughs> you shouldn't have shouldn't have that access into the locker room anyway. That just reminded me of back when, when Chuck got his stuff stolen out the locker room from the from the owners. What was the owners or the president's family, his yeah. son or something like that? Remember he stole yeah. Chuck jewelry out yeah. the locker room back in the day. You know what I'm saying when he was a Philly. Yeah, the owner of the team, son. Yeah, yeah, Crokey. Croce son yeah. or a son like yeah, somebody that was in his family, yeah, took yeah. something that belonged to Chuck. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's not crazy. Cool, man. But yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah. But so I guess that's where having a valuable bag come into play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, DJ? Like Man, you shouldn't have to do that. You and you, you shouldn't have to, but you don't put shit past nobody, man. Like yeah. I ain't saying prime is at fault, you know what I'm saying, for not locking this stuff up. You know what I'm saying, but no, yeah, you don't think somebody gonna why you out there working? Somebody gonna come in and lift your stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like that's. I'm glad he got it back. Um, yeah, they were trying to cover it up and Prime saying, "No, that's a lie." Yeah, like, no, yeah. like they were no, they lying. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess they they need to put some some locks in them locker rooms now. Yeah, cameras, some. You know what I'm saying? But no, they got it back, which yeah, that's a that's a good thing, man. So that's what's up. But just sad he couldn't enjoy his 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 you know, like, <laughs> all the way. Yeah, man, it's, it's fucked up. Where so, I mean, the, the question right becomes: Is this about like the undertone story here, right? What nobody's saying and what is kind of suggested? Like you get Dion, a caliber player, coach, celebrity, who's you gonna find at that level of school, right? And here he is, that type of person at that type of school, and his stuff is stolen. Like, does this happen? You think this happens to Nick Saban at Alabama? You, you know, you think anybody's in his office stealing his stuff? Oh yeah, you, yeah, you know, it's, you know, you're dealing with man. You're going to you you right. had a black. It's on, I, I hate to, I, you know, you had. There a, you go, Kenny. I'm saying you had a you had a black school. You playing other black schools, and that's the dynamic, and that's it's unfortunate. I'm saying, yeah. very unfortunate that that our people think that way. You know, what I'm saying, like this is an opportunity for me to come up, like. Like, that's what nah, I was getting at, my brother. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, that's what it is, man. Like that's we always us as 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 black people, man. We always find a way to to bring them to what to try to bring somebody down, man. Somebody that's doing well, somebody that's doing some positive, successful. You know what I'm saying? We always try to find a way or some some way to you know what I'm saying to damper it, like which is unfortunate. Yeah, no, nah, I mean it is, it is. Yeah. All right, man. That's, so let's let's talk some hoop, brothers. I know you guys are well versed. Um, uh, let's start with the All Star stuff. I'm saying the starters been named. I'm saying you got Luca, Steph, LeBron, big fella Joker, and Kawhi in the West, Kyrie, Bradley Bill, KD, Giannis, and Joel Embiid in the East. Do you think anybody got snubbed for starters? Um, um, and who you looking at for the reserve? Like, like who you like for the reserve roles? I mean, I guess you, you, you could kind of say Dane was snubbed, but then when you look at Luca's numbers, it's like, damn, he damn near yeah, so, double. Like, who do you take off of? Being starters though, like it's it's tough. Like Dame in a tough spot. He is he because is. people because because of the voting situation. You know what I'm saying? He's saying he's not gonna make it, but to be a starter, it's tough. I'm saying that's out tough. there, you got you got Steph back. He playing. He popular. 
And yeah. then Luca, where he from, his people over there get to vote. You know what I'm saying? Country. So that's Luca got a country. Yeah, you know, he got a whole Dame has Dame has a city. Luca has a country. Yeah. Even if yeah. from his country, he's getting like 39 and 9. Like you know, yeah. Dame got, I mean, Luca got a country and a state. I mean, you know, and and, and a city too. You know, like yeah, all the yeah. Nazis voting for him. Yeah, and then <laughs> they got sucks. Portland and Oakland. <laughs> Yeah, it, and and Portland, you know, if Dane plays on the Knicks, yeah, that's a little bit different story. But he plays on the West Coast. That's that's one thing is that yeah. you're going to get his games are on TV a lot less, and a lot later. You, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Luca, you got to remember, Luca came into this season. He was basically the favorite for the um MVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nah, he, it's just it's tough, man. It's a tough spot. And he's yeah. killing. Just look at look at. Because, you know, he got a country and, you know, a state and a city behind him. He is killing. It's just such <laughs> a high level that they yeah. You know, like people think Dane might be the best point guard in the league. I mean, most people probably think it's Steph, but for him not to be starting that game, but then Luka yeah, just... Be, yeah, it's a toss-up between Dame and Steph, I think. You know what I'm saying? Right, but I think you got to go step with that one. I got a question for both of y'all, and to be honest, you move it over to the East Coast, even over to the East side of the things. Is what about the the KD Kyrie thing? KD's played nineteen games. Yeah, Kyrie it's took off. Con- it's a popularity Go contest, man. It ain't about how many games you didn't play. Like if you're available, it's a popularity contest. Yeah, and what's more, like, just imagine what Steph wasn't playing. Steph was getting all them votes. You know what I'm saying? It's a popularity contest. Who would you replace KD with? They they still second in the in the East. Yeah, they second, I mean, they second in the East with him playing nineteen. Look, look out of, out, so out of the three that are there, K, uh, Kyrie, James Harden, and 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 um and KD, James Harden's the odd man out. Well, James Harden started off the year basically BSing. Yeah, so, and still put together more and still put together more games than them, than them dudes. Yeah, well, 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 since he's been in in. In Brooklyn, he's been balling his ass off, but when he was in, just you can't just throw away what he did in Houston before he got there. He was all the shit. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can and, throw and, that and, shit and, away. And, and yeah. think about that, DJ. His his bullshit is like twenty two eight and five. That's his bullshit. Because yeah, the league, because the league bullshit. The league don't play no defense. Like like they yeah, did lay the league and scoring four times. They ain't about this league. Yeah. He's been doing. It. And Clay finished top ten in voting, and we know Clay ain't go. Play at all this year, so like you know what I'm saying, it's a popularity contest. Oh, for sure, I'm not, I'm not doubting that. Though. I mean, the fans so vote. so the, the whole Durant thing and 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 Kyrie, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a popularity how, how, contest. How much weight are we putting Hope into them dudes the got whole, shoes? How, how much weight are you putting into an All Star voting? What your team's record is? Usually, I, to a certain, it, it used to play a part, but I'm um, so what you're saying, DJ. Like I think. It's tough, man, because when you got a guy like Bradley Beal out here, like he giving his all mm-hmm. every night. He ain't just out there just scoring to be scoring. Like they need that. I'm saying in order to have a chance to win. But but why you say Bradley Beal? I throw this name out there, Zach Levine. I was gonna get to him. You know what I'm saying? I think he deserved to be a. I'm saying a reserve. I'm saying he's been. He's been like, balling. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I was gonna get to Zach Levine. Like I think he's deserving of of a reserve role, you know what I'm saying? Because he has been, the wins that they do have, he's played a major part in it. And in order for them to have a chance any night, he has to play that way. You know what I'm saying? He has to play well. He has to average what he's averaging. You know what I'm saying? Like He has to. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's, that same goes with, with Kyrie and goes with KD. If them dudes not playing well, they're not going to win games. But they still mm-hmm. manage to win more games then Chicago, then the Wizards. When we talk, I know we've all talked before about guys being on bad teams, just putting up a lot of numbers. They down 20, they down 30. The team got up off the brakes, then they start scoring. The next thing you know, they end the game with 40 points. These dudes out there scoring meaningful points. Points that yeah. if they don't do it, because that, that Brooklyn team not great without them stars, they gave away everybody. Absolutely. <laughs> That, that that Brooklyn team, I mean, but each one individually is, you know, when they're not there. I mean, Kate, uh, they just went, Brooklyn just went 
five and oh, six and oh on this road five trip. Five and oh, five and oh on the road trip, which is impressive. Five and oh on a road trip with without KD, against, without, without KD, KD with, with teams against the Lakers, the Clippers, uh, you know. Which I they were Portland in there, like some real yeah, but they were down. Without, they was down without a few people too, though. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like those teams were full strength. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Lakers ain't have AD. I mean, Lakers Clippers. lost to Detroit this year without AD. Clippers yeah, could have won that game last night. Paul George got took out the game. He was killing that call at the end. You know what I'm saying? But Brooklyn, they are playing defense. They starting to you know get it together. But they've all lost games and won games without each other. When when Harden first got there, they beat Detroit and Milwaukee back to back without 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 our Kyrie Irving with just James and KD. Then Kyrie and they also back. lost to Cleveland twice too. Yeah, when Kyrie came back, <laughs> Kyrie came back and they lost to Cleveland twice after just beating Milwaukee and just beating just beating um, Denver. You know, I feel like I wouldn't have had a problem. Getting back to the original question, Ken, in terms of um, snubs, if there's any, because, I mean, to be honest with you, the lineups as constituted, I'm fine with all 10. You know, five on both sides. I don't got no problem with, with any of those guys. But I wouldn't have had a problem with Levine over Kyrie. I feel like Levine right. means more to Chicago than Kyrie means to uh, Brooklyn. But as a starter, though, you know, it's a popularity contest. Like Absolutely. Now, if we sell the tickets got, for it, so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, KD got a shoe. Kyrie mm -hmm. got a shoe. They popular, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> so no. they kids are wearing their shoes, and, and they, all these kids got smartphones, so they voting. Yeah, you know, what no I'm question. Saying? Yeah, I, I don't mind. I don't, I don't. I don't mind Levine over Kyrie, but he he Levine means more to his team than Kyrie does because Kyrie have two other right. All That's yeah. why he means more. I'm which facts. So who's like so reserves in the East? Like who y'all? Of course, um, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. You think both of those guys make it? Yep, Tatum. Like, um, yep. Um, how about um, Ben Simmons? I like Ben too. I like Ben. Zach Levine. How about Julius fringe, Randall? Fringe, fringe for me on fringe for me on on Ben Simmons, and and I feel like Julius Randall lock, and I feel like um, Zach Levine. Lock. I feel like those dudes are definitely uh balling in this. And I think it's I mean, especially Julius Randle. Julius Randle's having one of the best seasons that nobody's really talking about. He's doing it in New York. Thibodeau got them boys over there playing. The Knicks are giving up the least amount of points in the NBA. I mean, Julius Randle leads the team in assists, points, field goal. I mean, like that dude is out there balling. He's doing yeah. it all. I agree. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. So yeah, because nowadays wins don't really like they're not looking at your Wins as I'm saying, as long as you're playing well and you having your, you being competitive, I think yeah, he definitely putting up the numbers to be an all star. Like, um, do you take? Do you, how you about Zion? Take how about Zion? That West is different, man. Even even I don't know about before Zion, but right there with Zion is is Brandon Ingram. So you think is both it? of them? Ingram, Brandon Ingram, Brandon Ingram, because, yeah. Because you got. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you said this. They the eleventh. I'm saying they're the eleventh in the in the West. So that's so in Sabonis, the East. Can you? Can in the you East, I was going. I was. I was going to go back to the. Yeah, I, yeah, I jumped around real quick. So nobody off Toronto. No, I'm saying Toronto fifth. See, the, the thing is, when you do, I was going to say when you do when you do see, see, excuse me, Toronto. I feel like Siakam. The stage was set for him to go to the next level. This year, you know what I'm saying? Like the first year without Kawhi was his yeah. breakout year. Next year, this year, you're looking for him to go to like next, next level. And he really didn't. He kind of just stayed at the same level. He's having a great year. I think Toronto is a collection of really good players over there. You know what I mean? But there's, there's other players. I, I feel like Jeremy Grant's having a better season than P Pascal Siakam. What about Trey Young? I was about to, I was about to say Trey Young. They got a better record than. Then Washington and Brad. Trey Young had a real, real rough two week, three week stretch there, man. He got into it with um Collins and Collins kind of checked him. That dude came out and had like four games in a row with single digit scoring and some terrible field goal percentage. And the Hawks law. I mean, Hawks came out at the gate like six and oh or seven yeah, and one or something crazy like that. Yeah, they come back. They were doing twenty seven and ten. Huh? They were doing twenty seven and ten. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean Trey Trey Young. Trey Young's 
to, to go with to go with Kenya's point, you know, Trey Young's as popular as they come right now with this next generation. And then do James Harden get in on on the bench? I think so. Got to. And how about anybody off the Heat? Does Bam? Does Jimmy? Bam's having a great year. Jimmy, I feel like Bam had a great game. year last year. Jimmy, Bam had a great year last year and made it. So you gotta. So he ain't slacked off. You know what I'm nah. saying? So so nah, you, nah, yeah. so you got us. So what is? So you got five. Just, so you what you got? Heat, what seven so spots heat, left? You got heat. seven spots left. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it, you don't you don't know who it's gonna be from night to night. There's just so many. It's a collective of guys. Just and we forgot just, about Chris Middleton. Yeah, Milwaukee's taking a big step back this year. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, not this guy. Well, I mean, yeah. again, like I said, what are you doing with guy, uh, my man down there in the center in Orlando? Vujicic, oh. monster season out there, killing. Like I said, Jeremy Grant out Every there year. in Detroit, averaging twenty four points a game. Ain't nobody they, even talking about that dude today in his life. Because they fifteenth, uh, yeah. Because they fifteenth. Ain't nobody yeah, going. I, I he's, not you, I, he's not getting. He's not getting in. They fifteenth. No, he's not. I, I, I hear you, brother. Should have stayed his ass in Denver for the same money. <laughs> well, Denver over there struggling too. I mean, I, I, Still, I don't know yeah, why Denver yeah. um let but, him go. Like that's my opinion. No, he left and then let him go. They offered him the same money he got in Detroit. Okay. Well, I guess he wanted. Well, he wouldn't have been doing this in Detroit. I know that. He said he I wanted mean, he to. Been doing this in Denver. No, he said he wanted to have a bigger role. Yeah. So he said he wanted to have a bigger role. Yeah, no, nah, I, I get it. Well, I, I get like, it. Well, well with a few of the, the, the big men names that y'all mentioned. Um, Sabonis, Bam. I feel like Randall and the boy in um in Orlando had a better two years than them two. And we're going to know the fact that Miles turned over there blocking damn near five shots a game. And they fourth. <laughs> I mean, dude is literally so, blocking, you know, I think it's four and a half. Nope, the next closest yeah, these coaches like got, yeah, yeah, they got some decisions to make with these reserves, especially in the East, because there's some dudes that's deserving on yeah. some winning teams, you know what I'm saying, on some playoff teams, you know what I'm saying? Malcolm Brogdon having a nice season. Yeah, he playing well. Miles playing well. Sabonis playing well. Chris Middleton. Um you gotta throw Pascal Siakam in there. You gotta throw Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown in there. Yeah. Um, and like you said, what is James Harden? Miami, I mean, he just Bam, automatically James. Spot, right? I don't know if it's automatically, but he. I mean, he's getting MVP second. talk. Yeah, he's getting you know MVP what I'm talk. So the, the thing with, with MVP talk, he gotta he gotta if he go at this pace for the rest of the year, yeah. And I think they he gotta, should because remember, I didn't really. I ain't really like watching James play in Houston. Mm -hmm. I hate it. I love watching him right now. He's yeah, he's playing the right way. Yeah, he's been so unselfish, dude. He's been playing the right way, and I love it. But he just started off. He started yeah, off bad. Yeah, yeah. they got some I, decisions to make, man. Definitely I got some Ky decisions to make in the East. Kyrie looked like he came out, took a page out of the Captain, you know, those Captain Obvious commercials when he yeah. came to James Harden and said, yeah, I think you should play point. Like, thank you, Captain Obvious. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, appreciate it. Yeah, you, yeah, I mean, James Harden get more assists in a quarter than Kyrie gets in a week, man. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it was it was gonna be that Jane. You like you didn't have to go tell him he needed to be the point guard. He brought the ball up the floor every trip. Like, like yeah, that's, them, what I that's one of them, like that's one of them, like like you said, cop that like like damn, like you the last to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. Kenny, that's exactly right. Like, yeah, yeah I know like, we already talked about this. Yeah, sure. <laughs> remember when, yeah, remember when you disappeared for a week? <laughs> we yeah. already talked about this. Yeah, yeah. You made that decision then. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So then what about over there at the West? It gets crowded yeah, over the there at the West. I don't oh, think it's as crowded as, as the East, but it, it's... Like you said, Brandon Ingram and Zion. What you doing with Devin Booker? Paul George. He makes it. Damian. Devin Booker makes it. Cause they fourth, okay. You know what I'm saying? They fourth, yeah. So I think Devin Booker makes it. Dane, of course. Dane, Paul George, yeah. Donovan Mitchell, Donovan They're Mitchell. Fourth. They gonna they gonna throw Rudy Gobert in there. You know that every um, year. Yeah. Nobody I mean, else off Dallas but Luca. What are you um, doing with Anthony Davis? Of course he makes it. Yeah, but he's not gonna play more than likely. 
So yeah, yeah so, so, so that's a yeah, so that's a that's spot. A spot. That that that's a spot. Yeah. So you got Steph. So are we? Are you going to take so ja- either one of y'all taking Zion or not? I I think he gets. Oh. I, I think he makes it. To be honest with you. I don't want to take a Zion at all. I think you he said, makes what's it. Name? I'll take Zion. And, yeah. and you Brandon, take Zion and, and, and Ingram? Nope. I think he makes it and Brandon Ingram doesn't. <gasps> Zion. That's my Evans, opinion. Uh, Brandon Ingram averaging 24. Why are you saying that though, Can you? Popularity. It's, okay, that's what I okay. It's the it's the eye test. Like it's like you know what I'm saying the way Zion plays and the way it comes across is bringing it in, getting it done. Don't get me wrong. That's a, who do you think's playing? The, who, you, who do you think is playing better basketball right now? I think they equal. I'm saying equal, e- equal important to their team and equal in the amount of success. I'm saying each night. I'm saying, but it's not really equating to they got 13 wins. I'm saying 13 and 17, so it's not not really equally important, to wins. which is not very. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying so. <laughs> But so you got Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, because they first in the West. Both of them more than likely. Yeah. You got Anthony Davis. He more than likely won't play. You got Paul George, Devin Booker, Dane. That's five, six. Nobody off San Antonio. Okay. Like I don't think nobody off San Antonio makes it. You um, at six. Denver does Jamal Murray. That's what I was I was gonna ask you about that. Nobody off John Morant. I don't he he missed he missed a little bit of time, but that's a bad man right there, boy. I understand, but yeah, it's a hard for Murray and Ja. Yeah. And then well then you get down. I'm saying they might take Bi and 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 Zion, yeah. Because because it, it ain't as crowded as the East. No. Nah. Nobody else. Uh, if if Christian Wood wouldn't have got hurt, he would. He yeah, that's what I was about to say. Nobody off the Rockets. Mix. No, if Christian Wood would have been in the mix, he would. He wouldn't have got. I'm saying, if he wouldn't have got hurt, he would have been in the mix. So Chris Paul get any love? Not. A, I don't know. He might. He might. He might. He might. He's fourth. He's making an he impact been, over there. He definitely make an impact. You know what I'm saying? He definitely might get some love just for longevity, respect from the coaches and all that shit and, and what he's doing. Yeah, he might get in, man. Cat hasn't yeah. played enough games. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, no. Nah, he's, yeah. And they, and they 15th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I got yeah. you. De'Aaron yeah. Fox. Nah. 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 You got to go Morant before you do that. Um, At least you got to go Ja. And Murray for yeah. that, yeah. All right. Yeah, so no, we got something good here, yeah. So it should be interesting, I'm saying, to see who make it. Um, looking forward to seeing when the reserves come out and see who going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah, always let's play. Pissed. Yeah, always somebody going to be mad, man. So, yeah, let's wait and see, brother. Um, Boogie and the Rockets parted ways. I like that. You guys feel, yeah, what you feel about that? Surprised me because, I, I mean, I know that Boogie and John always wanted to play together. Yeah. How, how close they are. I thought, and I actually thought he wasn't playing that bad. He was up there. Yeah. Um, they actually won in a few games, for real. So, yeah, kind of comes as, as a surprise to me. Yeah, I definitely didn't see it coming. Um, yeah, I definitely didn't see it coming because I thought he had something to prove. He on a one-year deal. Uh, him proving that he's grown up in a lot of ways, that he still can play as well. Yeah. Uh, he can be good in the locker room. He can be good with the young guys. Like, I thought he had a lot to prove. Um, and what better place in Houston? I'm saying they got a lot of young guys. You got somebody who you're familiar with and John. Um but yeah, I just yeah, it's it's inter- it's interesting to see where he's going to land too. You know, like I don't know like what's on the table or what they're thinking, but it should be interesting to see where he lands. 
to me, yeah. to me, the interesting part is that, so, you know, just like I'm sure you guys, I get little updates that come to your phone every time something happens. And then on uh, Friday or Saturday, get the update says, you know, Rockets guarantee Boogie's $2.3 million contract. This was a yeah. foregone, foregone conclusion. They were happy with him, da, da, da. That comes in on Saturday. Sunday, the report comes, Rockets about to part ways with DeMarcus Cousins. I'm like, hold on, did I read something wrong? I could have sworn they just said they picked up his thing, they happy with him, and, yeah. and you know, that that's kind of like you said, Boogie cut uh Walls always said that they want to play with him. You know, he actually, you know, Christian Woods gets hurt next thing you know, another injury. They, you know, they got eight bodies. You know, he's out there getting as much minutes as you want. He's playing the stretch floor, he's shooting the threes like they want him to do. Um, I just don't even know if they it, it's kind of like he's a, a dinosaur, no, in terms of the way he plays basketball anymore. Thing is, is he he can do different things. When he first got yeah. in the a big body, you know, good, good footwork, good touch. He can bang and all that. Then you see he started to get his range. He started to shoot the three. He started to bring the ball up and going up the dribble. Now he out there averaging 25 and 12 or 10 or whatever. He's like, damn, he's do the best center in the league. I think he can play the way they play now. He's just a bigger body. Maybe he can't move as much. Maybe he can't switch out on the screens as much. That's what, that was going to yeah. be my question what do both you guys see on the switch on the pick and roll defensively? That's where it gets shaky. Yeah, that's where it gets – yeah, nah. He can't move as well as he once could. You know, the injuries – I was talking the other day, yeah. The injuries has taken or toll to a certain degree. Um, but, yeah, he can still score the ball, man. He still shoot it well from the perimeter. He's still a problem in that regard. But, um, but then yeah. all, the, all these big men you're seeing going through, just drumming, drumming on the straight block – Blake, yeah, you know the and these are guys that's done but great things in this league. But yeah, but Boogie cheaper than them, so wherever Boogie go, you know what I'm saying they ain't gonna have to give up nothing. Like yeah. they can get him right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. They, they, like he, like he basically free. You know what I'm saying compared to what you would have to give up <laughs> to get Blake or or Drummond. You know what I'm saying? they them teams ask they go ask for a hefty price coming back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Do you no, think anybody's they, offering as much as no, even a, a no. dollar for Blake Griffin yet? No, no. I don't, they, I don't I, even think they off. They asking a lot for Blake now. Drummond is a different story. I think I thought Blake was going to get a buyout. Yeah, yeah, I think they still yeah. might. I think they still both might. Yeah, and I, I just think teams trying to they trying to wait and see if somebody going to offer something like somebody that need a big like. If Houston go bite because they need a big or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like Drummond can go help because they down a big, like just release book, like so they they probably wait because Houston got a lot of picks. I take like they... what do you think about with the Lakers now? Like here's what I was thinking is that as soon as Anthony Davis, we don't know. People keep saying two to three weeks. What they said is he'll be reevaluated in two or three weeks. They say anything about him playing in two or three weeks. It'll be reevaluated in two or three weeks. Anthony Davis could be out for some serious time. The Lakers mm-hmm. got this whole, don't you feel like one of these dudes, whether it's Blake Griffin, DeMarcus Cousins, uh, nobody's talking about Kevin Love. He's about to be healthy. I, I see him being bought out, and I, I don't know what he hanging around Cleveland for. One of those guys landing in L.A. on a buyout. I could see more LeBron has success with Kevin Love. Yeah. And I could see that more than a Blake Griffin or or DeMarcus Cousins, but we'll see. I'm saying we'll see, but no, it should be interesting, man. Like what, what, what happens to Andre Drummond when it's time or and or Blake, you know what I'm saying? Like, or do they rot for the rest of the year? You know what I'm saying? Sitting at home. Like it's yeah. Would a team like Brooklyn there to just begging for a big man? Yeah, but they would have they had they they can't trade for him. You make too much yeah, money yeah. this year. I'm right. saying like he's money come off after the year, but it's right now it's too much money. It's fucking twenty eight million. Like <laughs> they who, can't who eat that. that you talking about? I think Andre Drummond. Oh Drummond. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. I think Drummond. he is like twenty eight. Like yeah. can't eat that right now. No. I feel like Brooklyn got to make one of those moves. And the other guys, except from Drummond, I just don't know. He, they don't help him much, them much on defense. Offensively, rebounding, yeah. But defensively, they don't help them much. Drummond will help both ways. 
But yeah, offensive rebounds, defensively, yeah, because he they have been he, playing better defense lately, even without Kevin. So yeah. I don't know who was he made you doke over there or Z- Jock Vaughn, somebody over there, because it ain't Steve, it ain't Dan Tony. Somebody over there. <laughs> so boys, somebody knows some defense. defense stuff. <laughs> yeah, ain't, ain't Amari either. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it should be interesting, man, how this thing play out with these dudes. Um, but if there's some miraculous way <laughs> where they find a way to get drumming, I don't, even if they give up Kyrie, they find the way to get drumming to to Brooklyn is over. Yeah, I felt like they should have found a way to keep Jared Allen. Yeah, that's what I thought. But <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't have been able to make that deal and get James without throwing him in there. So that's that's part of. It. Yeah, we touched on it a little bit. Um, this is do you like like Dane? Um, do you, his disrespect? Like, do you feel like it's adding a bigger chip on his shoulder, or you think he's just so numb to it now that it's just like whatever? I think he always has has his own chip on his shoulder, and I think so that ain't gonna add on to it. No, I think it adds to it. I think he's already you know had a chip. We were state. You know, and he, he came in the league with a chip. And all they do yeah. is he into it more and more. The more he do, it's like there's nothing else he can do but win a title. But for his individual, there's nothing more he can do. And they keep disrespecting him. And he just gotcha. keeps the best players. Gotcha. But what what, what is the disrespect? Like not Being put behind uh, Steph Curry and Luka? That, like, he didn't make it before. Like let's not let's not forget like there's years where he didn't. Oh yeah yeah no no no. Make no I, I meant like this I'm year. Saying, like, I'm saying this year, but but do you think he feel that he should be a starter? And do, do you, you think do that you this think, add on add on to the disrespect? Do you think um, Luca is better than Dan? Who you asking? You. <laughs> no, give me Dan. <laughs> So there you go. You know, I mean, Luca's young. He's great. He's fun to watch. But Dane probably looking at Luca like, there's nothing you can do with me. Yeah. Luca came into the season with the MVP trophy already at his house, though. Like, if you go to Vegas, he was the number one odds to win the MVP. That's all anybody was talking about. Coming out of that bubble, that's all anybody was talking yeah. about was Luca, 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 Luca. Luca would have literally had to go out there and be God awful for him not to make the All Star team. <laughs> And Dame, like man, that, that's what it would have taken. And he has been far from that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, that, that's what it would have had to take. But now I'm with you, DJ. Give me, give me Dame. But you know how certain people, it's like they have to play their way out of it. You, you know what I'm saying? For, and Luca was already put in that place. Now, yeah, he did leapfrog uh, Dame. I feel like he leapfrogged Dame. I mean, Dame averaging 30 and 8, he ain't rebounded as much as Luca, but he's not as big as Luca. He's not asked to do that. But if it's at the end of the game, if it's in the fourth quarter, who you want the ball? Who you want to have the ball? Luke or Dane? Okay, what quarter? I want Dane. <laughs> First, second, third, overtime. I want Dane with the ball, period, man. That dude is it's, – it's, I mean, matter of, just think about it. If you could – like, if this was real basketball and you could have had, you know, Dame and Steph Curry in the same backcourt, what, what are you picking them people up at? <laughs> Even with Steph. Like, Off the bus? <laughs> exactly. They ain't probably know. tell you, bro, Steph can't fuck with me. Yeah, well, I'm sure he does think that. I think half the league thinks that Steph can't fuck with them until they get out there and, and he does. <laughs> but Dame, I mean, let, let's not forget Dame said, remember, DJ, it's not too long ago. Dame was like, when they played Steph and Dame on back to back, and he said, Yeah, man, you know, Steph's really seeing what it's like now. It's gonna be tough for him. He ain't gonna get a chance to do what he used to do. What, what Steph did the next night? Oh, uh, damn, score. You were there, DJ? Yeah, we was watching that here. What he gave him, 62? Yeah, something stupid. Yeah. yeah. 62? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. It look a little mm, career high. It ain't going to yeah. be as easy as it used to be. Look at right to me. Yeah, look at like, you. <laughs> yeah, no. It's a bad man, though. Bad, yeah. bad You remember man. that, right, DJ? Oh. We were sitting right there. Portland, oh, Portland, Portland's fifth and Golden State's eighth. And he's been without CJ and he's been without Clay. Not only can, can we talk about got a, Portland got a better can you, roster. Can you can like we Portland. talk about one of Steph's other teammates? I mean, you, they, they got they got right. Kelly Cooper who averaged twenty last year. 
Mm-hmm. I like Uber. I like Uber. 20 and number one pick. Draymond, the best power forward to ever live. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what, what you just say, boy? Man, you know, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> Hall of Fame Dre, man. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. I want to have a teammate, man. Hey, uh, Lena, he, uh, he get it done, though. Like, he could. <laughs> Is it? You see the uh, you see the other night, I'm, I'm, I'm watching this game in the fourth quarter. Draymond, it's about three minutes left in the game. Draymond scores his first points of the game. This is a game with no Steph, no Clay. No Wiseman, no KD. Like, yo, we're going to need you. They, they, they said, man, steps out tonight, man. That's 30 points. Everybody's going to have to pick it up. Draymond said, put me down for four, coach. <laughs> <laughs> four more than you know, put he, me down for four. I'm saying the one game where he had that, that crazy stat line, he only had like six points. It was like six points, eight rebounds, 15 assists, six steals, six blocks or some shit hey, like that. Like, whatever game six points that game. About, Whatever game you talk about, if it happened this year, he only had like six points in it. I don't care what yeah, no, game it was. He only had six points. Yeah, he, oh, no, he, he definitely only had six points. That's for sure. <laughs> like, I know, like, for facts, he only had six points. Yeah, like, then proceeds to go out there and get two technicals and, and cost his team. And it literally cost his team the game. Gets two technicals, gets kicked out. They hit the two technical free throws, game winner, and, and block. They was up six points. That all happened in less than one minute. Yeah. Man, but I, so like DJ said, man, best power forward to ever live. I, did, I still feel Dane should feel like he's been being disrespected. I mean, he 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 hit some of the toughest shots to end games. Like I said, they're in fifth. They're in fifth, and CJ hasn't even been there for it. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just adding on to it. Yeah. And um, by the way, Cantor Cantor's having a hell of a season over there since uh, what's his name got hurt, DJ. Oh. Uh, uh, Nurkic, since Nurkic got hurt, oh, uh, yeah, and Nurkic then Cantor's out there balling. Oh, yeah, I know. I just seen that, yeah. But I, I've always loved Cantor. I think Me too. He, Me too. Yeah. Great. Everywhere he's underrated. He, yeah. But it's very. Yeah. He I, I don't very understand why he can't. He, he hasn't been able to find a home in the NBA, and I don't really understand that, to be honest. Good trade bait. Yeah. yeah. Good I mean, contract, good trade bait. Oh. He's going to do what he do, and people be like, shit, we'll take in this Cantor. <laughs> like, so we'll yeah, take right, 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 right. We'll take him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, 12 rebounds. 12 and 8, 12 and 9 in like 15 minutes. Yeah. We'll yeah, absolutely. It. You'll take it. Yeah, I've always listened. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all been paying attention to the little, um, they got the little bubble down in Orlando for the G League. Um Rockets sent the team down there. A few few guys went down there. Um, KJ's there playing with the Kevin Porter kid. Um, mm-hmm. They both on assignment, so they'll be going back. Um, have y'all seen any of the games, or have y'all paid attention to any of the games down there, or y'all just been following yep. on social media like like the rest of the folk? I seen I seen I seen a few games, and I've been following on social media. I've seen all of them, but I seen. What's the thing I, about I, the play? The play of. Of the league or of KJ or, or just the league, the league. Um, I think it's some talent down there. Okay, I think it's I think it's better. I mean, I played in the D league or the G league, um, and it was good players then. I think it's it's probably more talent now than it was then. Gotcha. Definitely, definitely a lot of because you got guys like Porter who asked to go down there. He he yeah, could he be. Play. He could be yeah, he could be playing at Cleveland. He could be playing some else right now. The kid can play. Yeah, yeah. And you he's got, talented. Yeah, you, and you got guys who who want to go down. Smith. Dennis yeah. Smith has to go down there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Guys just want to go down there and, and work on their game. And yeah, guys some burn down, so guys are more open to even taking that route instead of going overseas. Gotcha. I watched. I watched a handful of the games. Uh, when I'm at work, it's on. You know, during the during the day, there was no NBA games. It's on. It's on the big screen. I'm watching the whole game start to finish, and it it looked like good basketball to me. You know what I mean? It's not like yeah. you watch it; it's just like, oh man, this looks like bad basketball. Like it looked like an NBA basketball game to me. Yeah, no, it's competitive. Them dudes do high skill set. Um, dudes down there putting up some nice numbers. Um, KJ is playing well. Um, he's averaging the double double. Um, need to make some more shots from the perimeter. He's shooting it. Everything looked good. Um, just, just one of them, one of them gems, or both of them gems, is not conducive to his, 
to his shot. Um, but nah, yeah, he's playing well though. Everything else is he's doing everything else, man. Like you just can't let making shots dictate how you play. And he's definitely not doing that. So yeah. that's dope. Like for him to go down there and he's averaging what 19, 12 and a half and two and a half blocks, almost three blocks a game. So hey, he's doing that's everything the, else. That's what that league is for. And I'm glad that he's able to go down there. And, and and play as many minutes as he's playing because there's guys there's guys who's good who's not even getting in the game I'm yeah. them because some guys that's being sent down from the NBA teams they they get first dibs on all the minutes so I'm glad he's in that position he's down there playing all the minutes I've seen I've seen great shooters go through spells where they couldn't couldn't make shots you know he's yeah. out there getting effort he blocking shots playing defense finishing at the rim the shot gonna gonna eventually come. Um, yeah. I'm going to bring up the story. I was, I was, you know, telling you guys earlier, it was my second year in the league. Jock Vaughn, who's coaching over there at the Nets, he started the season like, it was an 0 for 22, you said, MG? I just remember. Yeah. It was bad. It was, it was games. Bad. Games. Games. Yeah, was, he didn't make a shot, right? And then he finally, he finally made a shot. You know, Sports Center, they like, put like, like party things. <laughs> the Fourth of July fireworks and the balloons and all of that. The rest of the year, I feel like Javon ain't missed a shot again the rest of the year. Yeah. It was like once he made one, it was like it, they oh. just man, he shot it. He shot it great for, for the rest of the year. And oh, that's what's up. I mean, that, that's that just it's you know. all about effort though. He getting this experience. He's a kid. He getting this yeah. experience. Twenty years old, playing thirty four minutes a night. I'm saying yeah, yeah. averaging the double double, doing everything else to try to put his team in the best situation to win. Yeah, shots gonna come. So yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. If I'm the Rockets, I'm happy with what I what I what I see from KJ in turn when he's down there because I feel like you drafted KJ for his athleticism and his energy. And I can tell you one thing that's jumping off the screen when you watch these D League games is his athleticism and his energy. You know what I'm saying? And what he's doing defensively. And I mean, he's blocking some serious. I mean, even even before he went down there in the NBA, he out there blocking uh Boban down there in Dallas and other. I mean, like, and he and he's competing and contesting. And he looks like his father. He's out there taking yeah. shots out of midair and stuff like that. Like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. what you drafted him for. And he doing it. Yeah, he grabbed yeah, one yesterday. Come. He grabbed one yesterday. I was like, yo. <laughs> he said, I thought it was going to call goaltending. I said, how can they call goaltending when it ain't? <laughs> like, the whole gym stopped, that. though. The whole gym stopped. The announcer stopped. Yeah, that, like, yo, people don't do see that? that. Yeah, they don't like, see that, man. Like, you when sure? I used to do it, people don't, you don't see that. Mm-hmm. It looked like shit you used to do. I thought I thought kids were called call goaltender too, but you yeah. used to do. The, you used to really goaltend like on purpose. <laughs> yeah, somebody, some shots I did. I'm making a <laughs> statement, bro. Yeah, can you just block the shot? He just he had sacrificed some two points just to scare so I can come down there. Yeah, just to intimidate you, just to let you know I'm there. Like, when do you decide mid air that you're gonna put it in the fifth row or you're gonna take it back down with you? When do you decide that? It depends on how I jumped. Like, like okay. it's before the jump. Like, it's before the it jump. Is. If I think I can get it, like, if I think I can grab it, I'm going to grab it. So you go up in the air with the test. Like, I'm going to bring this one back down with me. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to grab your shit out there. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then I got tired of getting, yeah. Like, I, like I got tired of hugs that, yelling at me. That's amazing to have that ability to do, to do that. But like, I got tired of hugs yelling at me when we was in school, man. Like. Damn it, can you just keep this? Grab it, like keep, like keep it in play. Like, all right, man, like, I got you, bro. That that be all right. Yeah, <laughs> let me get that. So I know you guys are um, movie watchers. Have you seen Judas and the Black Messiah? I haven't seen it. I haven't got a chance to see it yet. Oh uh, well, it's, it's definitely a, it's definitely a must watch. Is it? Uh, it's a must. Yeah, it's a must watch. It okay. ain't something that you. It, it, it ain't one of them. It's based on the true story, of course. Um, how they did Fred Hampton. Um, yeah, it's. The man was twenty one years old, man. Like, so you definitely need to check that out. Um, yeah. So, hey, you guys, back on. We'll get into it. But now it's definitely a must watch, man. Just how the government, man, like foul, like the police, the government, FBI, like. Like foul as they come, bro. Wicked. Like this is that movie is evidence that the fucking government is filed on so many levels. What's so crazy yeah. is I just watched the um because man, I'll be on YouTube looking at everything, right? 
I watched the Fred Hampton documentary. I didn't even know Black Messiah was about Fred Hampton. I just yeah. watched the documentary on him like a week or so ago. Yeah, and, and then, the, yeah, so you got to watch it, man. It's betrayal, it's love story, it's, yeah, that's like when you get what done watching that, if you don't feel no kind of way, something wrong with you. <laughs> like, but then they just had the joint that came out. Um, gentleman was on death row. Uh, I mean, not he was on his deathbed. And he was a cop in New York. And he was part of the FBI setting up um, um, the Malcolm X assassination. Mm. So he was on his deathbed. He wrote his letter and gave it to his cousin. He told his cousin, don't give it out until I'm dead. So the, it's, so it's floating around now that he's saying what happened, like how they arrested Malcolm X security guards the day, a couple of days before. So they couldn't be at the door when, when the whole shit went yeah. down. Did you see the, the Netflix one trial for? Similar to the John Hampton one? About the the guy, the black guy who killed the cop in, or they said he killed the cop in Boston? No, and they I framed him? That. No, okay. I yeah, but no, we no, but no, but Fred Hampton shit crazy though. Like this is like he wasn't like they painted this man as, as like just like the KKK, like they said like that's what they was painting the Black Panthers like they was the KKK, mm-hmm. where they was out here feeding people, doing positive things. They just wasn't taking shit from white people and cops. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So yeah. but no, I it's know. definitely a, it's definitely it a must watch. Boy, how so much has changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but no, it's no, it, it, it like it was more blatant. Like, like they got do it, it was it was just blatant, man. How they like they you gotta watch, man. They killed the man in his sleep, basically. Like, like why his pregnant wife next to him. Like, it's crazy. Like I'm gonna it, check that out this weekend. Gotta watch it, bro. Like, you gotta watch him. It's definitely definitely be worth your I'm worth your time, man. Um yeah, before we get out of here, man, I just want to say, like, the best thing I saw this week, um, I don't know if this young gentleman's first name is Emmanuel or his last name is Emmanuel or Hensel. Um, he's one arm basketball player, man. Like, I, I was scrolling on Instagram earlier, and I saw him, like, just saw him out there playing. Like, he was hooping. And I so I just went on his page. Like, and he, like, he's athletic. <laughs> um doing crazy dunks, like planning games, like co- actually competing at a high level. Uh, I just think it was, I just think it's pretty impressive, man. Like the kid got one arm and he's out there playing at a high level and he's crazy athletic. I just want him to keep striving, man, keep grinding. Um, you got people watching, man. It's your inspiration to a lot of people, man. So I think that's dope. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. I haven't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hip to that. Yeah, I just saw it today, man. I was looking at it, and it reminded me of this dude who I grew up with named Mark Armstrong. Um, something happened to Mark's collarbone. I forget if he was playing football or bad, got hit bad, and he messed his collarbone up. He had nerve damage. and But Mark was nice. He, he, he could hoop. He was nice. but So he never wanted to stop hooping, but his arm, he never did the proper, from the hood, so he never did the proper therapy and all that stuff for his arm. So his arm was stuck like this, but his hand was stuck like this, and his arm was stuck. But he, was, he kept hooping though, so he used to like, when I say, yo, he'd be out there busting ass, man, like with one arm, he'd gather that thing, go over you, finger roll, like he, like, like mean with it. <laughs> like, so this, so this kid reminded me of him, man. I was like, damn, like that's, like for you to have the, the, the wheel and to go, go out and, and the work at like he doing like the like ball handling drills. And of course he only got one arm, so his whatever hand he doing it with it, he whipping the thing. Like he doing the boom, 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 like between the legs, like the, the spins, like you know, he bounced that thing, went between the legs and dunked it like it's so good. he yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah, he yeah, he yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He athletic and he and he out there giving it his all, man. So I just wanted to keep going, man. And Wishing nothing but the best, man. Like that's yeah. That's we, we had a dude in DC back when I was growing up. He was older, named One Arm Doug, and I'm pretty sure he made like all state. But Doug, he had like a little nub, but he used to. Yeah. Cook. He was left handed too, but he he go dumb dumb hard because he was strong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The other side of his body was so strong, but he used to kill. And just the funny thing is, you think about it, why you, you you can't really like force him that way. You trying to force him that way, he going in and out, still go the other way, like. 
But he definitely wasn't no dude that's out there dunking and windmills and stuff. Oh yeah, they do. Oh yeah, he doing doing all that. So you guys Shout remember when? You remember when we was kids? Jim Abbott, baseball player. Remember the doing name? Doing no hitter with one arm. Remember the name? Jim Abbott. Yes. You remember? You remember him, Kenyon? Yeah, I remember the name. I don't remember the game, yeah. but I remember he, hearing he, the he, name. He, so, yeah. he was a pitcher. He, he threw a no hitter. He played about fifteen years of Major League Baseball. No doubt. One arm. Oh, yeah. oh that's... You didn't want to throw that arm. Huh? <laughs> you said what? <laughs> Fool ass. Say you only need one arm to throw it. <laughs> yeah, but the dude used to throw it and then put the glove on the on the, on the other arm. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, 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 he made it to the highest level. That thing must have been, must have had some heat. And yeah, that change, change up was mean. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, fellas. Man, appreciate your time, man. Coming on the show, man. Needing unfiltered. Once again, there's one, one more in the books. Got DeMar Johnson, got Mark Gray. Thank you, gentlemen, very much, man. Appreciate you having me, Kenya. Anytime.